If, like me, you love using laser weapons and plasma guns in Fallout 4, you'll want to pick up all the Tesla magazines and get yourself some extra damage. Our first location is the only easy one that's not at the end of a dungeon, and it's Reeb Marina. It's on the eastern coast here, and near the Revere Satellite Array, Beach Station, Limpier Park, and that sort of direction. Now, all you have to do is just enter the building, walk straight to the kitchen, and you can get yourself the magazine. Do beware the Mr. Handys are a little bit aggressive in here uh, once you've uh, read through some of the terminals. And here we go with our first edition, the future of warfare. Given 5% critical damage permanently to all your energy weapons. Now let's go on to the next dungeon. The next one is at the much beloved Arc Jet Systems. You know the place where we all get like the unlimited ammo when we let the synths continually die? That was pretty awesome. But yes, head straight on inside and we'll be going to the CEO's office, which is located straight up the stairs. It's a pretty easy thing to get to. There's just a few security bots in the way and thankfully we don't even have to lockpick any door. Do be careful of the laser tripwire though. And then we can find the Tesla magazine sitting over here. Will ru robots rule the world? A really cool cover art. I, I do love these magazines. It would have been awesome if they did a run of them. Uh, but yes, let's head on to the next one. Yes, you'll need a radiation suit and some rad for this next place. We're in the glowing sea, right at the rocky cave, or Virgil's laboratory, right at the bottom left corner of the map. You don't really get much more bottom left of the map than this particular area. So let's go in and get ourselves the next magazine. This is actually quite straightforward if you take away the fact that you might have to do a wee bit of fighting. So run all the way past everything and boom, magazine over here. We're up to 15% and this one's called Rocket Science for Toddlers. Awesome. We'll be heading on over to the macro fish packing plant at the other side of the map. So the top right corner now. It's been a hot minute since I was last here. It's located, of course, at the top right corner of the map, near the Nakano residence when you start Far Harbor. So it's always a good idea to uh, visit this place, but do bring a lot of firepower, as it is uh, quite the difficult location. Did you also know that this fish packing plant is the largest source of aluminium or aluminium in the entire game, especially if you pick up all the trays? Now, we'll drop down to the lower level. You'll probably want to use the lift there so you don't suffer any fall damage. And uh, basically, you will fight your way to the end of the dungeon. It's pretty simple. Uh, just work your way around the edges here. You'll be fighting through a large number of synths. Um, hopefully you won't get stormers this early on in the game. Uh, I'm about level 100 in this playthrough, so that gives you a bit of an idea. Of course, this place was a raider hideout until the synths decided to uh, to come on over. Uh, the wee bit we're looking for is right over here at the edge near this dead raider. And boom, tomorrow's technology for today's super soldiers showing uh, some plasma guns. Pretty awesome. $35. Wow, inflation definitely hit these comics hard. Blast off the adventure and we'll be blasting it off to our next location. Which is none other than the Hallucigen Place, located just south of the Charlesview Amphitheatre. Do remember this place is mined. I've just got a bit of a reminder in the fact that a mine has appeared. And uh, yeah, that can ruin your day pretty fast. And if that mine doesn't, then this car certainly will. Let's head on inside. Not the worst magazine to get by any stretch, because it's a pretty one dimensional it's a very one way dungeon this well many of them of course are but once you go out of the basement and into this first room you can find the magazine just at the end here you'll have to fight through about a dozen raiders or gunners that is but the reward is pretty awesome u.s army goes to space so speaking of space we're going to go to the mass fusion building next Arriving at the Mass Fusion building, even though it has nothing to do with space, it is technically the tallest building in the game, so I will take that win. The magazine we seek is up on the ninth floor. Which means if you're not doing the Spoils of War or the quest Mass Fusion, then you won't actually be able to get to it, as it's above the glass up here. But once you are doing that quest, it's pretty simple. You will already be up here. And once you're up here, it's as simple as going in to the, uh, the laboratory up on the second floor. There it is. Yep, 
So once you enter the room with their wee display fusion reactor, you walk across, walk out under the catwalk, into the next building, and boom, we can pick up our next magazine, Giant Super Weapons. Nice. So yeah, it's uh, either a Brotherhood of Steel or an Institute quest line, so obviously just follow that faction, and you will eventually end up with it. There's a Stingwing that you never really see, so... Uh, a pretty cool one. Not even, not in the colours we see in game, but still pretty neat. Alright, on to the General Atomics factory. Located in the Boston Harbour industrial area near the Four Leaf fish packing plant, close to the castle you can find this factory where General Atomics manufactured their Miss Nanny robot. Alright, so this should be a pretty easy one to get. Easy is certainly the phrase for this one. I thought Reed Marina was easy, but turns out that I forgot all about this one. It's uh, simply straight up the stairs into the office area, and boom, magazine sitting at the back here. What is plasma? Anyway, with the scientist doing uh, some pretty, like, Doc Ock sort of experiments there. Pretty awesome. That's us up to some serious amount of critical damage for our energy weapons. If you're running that sort of build, this is the perfect uh, magazines to pick up. Next up, we're heading over to University Point, to Zedvig Hall, at least I think that's how it's pronounced. You want to head straight in from the fast travel point through the abandoned, well, seemingly abandoned until all the synths start jumping out at you, and to the building that looks like it's kind of sinking into the sea. Then we're going to enter straight in. A few synths will stand in your way between you and the book, but once you get up to the third floor, past that particular synth, he's the annoying one, and then, boom, we've got ourselves another Tesla magazine. This one, Geckos and Gamma Radiation, the key to prolonged life. Wow, that's a really, really cool art. The artist went hard with some of these, I swear. All right, so let's head on over to Poseidon Energy. Poseidon Energy is definitely a slog fest. There is a lot of raiders that you have to fight through and the first decision you have to make is do you go through the water pipes at the rear of the building or do you have the ability to open a master lock door or terminal in order to get in? I've already unlocked the terminal so that was the easy way but if you don't know where the pipe is because uh, it can be often overlooked. It's just down here and it doesn't doesn't look like much but you just sort of sneak on in and you can get into the sub level so uh, yeah open to the map we're just south of course of University Point southeast so uh, it's a pretty close location and then uh, again whichever choice you decide to pick I'm going to go through the door here note you cannot unlock the terminal you can only unlock the door I just realized that there once inside, the real fun begins. You'll probably emerge from the sub-level there if you went through the tunnel. Unlock a wee novice terminal, that should be pretty easy at this point, open the door, and boom, you're into the main area. Now, you'll kind of fight your way round, sort of in a wee zigzag fashion, through this door, into the next level, and what you eventually want to do is get your way to the catwalk. We'll mosey on up the catwalk and reach the final Raider boss. He is the one that we want because he's got the magazines that we need. Again, this place can be a little bit of a maze. But once you reach the final room to Cuddy, you can find not only the Endurance Bobblehead, but the final Tesla magazine and lovely red one. Uh, Ten number one hits. I did honestly think this was kind of like based on like the Tesla... Obviously, it's the, you know, Nikola Tesla, but I thought it had some semblance to Tesla, the, the vehicle, but then when this game was made, Tesla wasn't probably the most well-known car company as it is today. So, uh, yeah, no reference, just a nice color scheme with uh, Tesla. Uh, obviously going off that particular scent, this more so than anything else. Anyways, that's you up to 50% permanent critical damage. I'm glad I could share this little guy with you. Thank you so much, and be sure to check out my other comics.